We joke a lot about local law enforcement wanting to give fugitives a warm, dry place to stay or a Valentine's card or something like that. But the truth of the matter is, this is a very serious request that you keep your eyes open for these people and do not approach them, please. We are back with Most Wanted Monday. Captain Tim Robinson, Wicomico County Sheriff's Office. Good to see you, sir. It's, it's great to be here. And again, you know, not only keep your eyes open, we're hoping that we, we, we always we profile these individuals. Somebody goes, I know that person, right. or I know or I know somebody that knows them, or anything, whether they know where they work, where they live, who they hang out. And I think it, it tickles me that yeah. a family member could turn them in. Yeah, and look, it's, it's total, nobody would know. Totally uh, anonymous. Like we guarantee anonymity. There, we never ask for your name. Right. You just identify by a code number, and the folks that take our, our calls do not use caller ID. So right. there's no way for us even to, if you wanted to, to get back in touch. That's some pretty easy spending cash right there. Yeah, it's real quick. All right, so take a look at this list. We got a whole uh, grand total of six. Cedric Barbie. Tell me about Cedric Barbie. <laughs> yes. Yeah, Cedric Barbie, he's 49 years old. We last know him to be right here in Salisbury, but we have received some tips already that he's left the area. He's wanted by the sheriff's office on a district court arrest warrant that's issued back in December uh, for escape after he decided to take off from a treatment facility where he was mandated to be. So if anybody knows where Cedric Barbie is, all you have to do is pick up the phone and give crime solvers a ring. All right, this is Tiffany Blair Cobble. Tiffany Cobble, she's 39 years old. We last know her to be in the Berlin area and she's wanted by the sheriff's office on a circuit court bench warrant that was issued back in January after she did not make an appearance in court to answer a violation of probation hearing in a case where she already been convicted of CDS possession with the intent to distribute. Now this is James Rand Hollins. James Hollins, he's 40 years old. We believe him to be right here in Salisbury still. He's wanted by the sheriff's office on a district court arrest warrant that was issued back in January on the charges of CDS possession, not marijuana, and we have not been able to locate him. So if you know where James Hollins is, please pick up the phone and call Crime Solvers. Do you know Santia Shanae Jacobs? Santia Jacobs, she's 34 years old. We last know her to live in the Laurel, Delaware area, and she's wanted by the sheriff's office. We have a district court arrest warrant that was issued back in 2020 on the charges of drug possession, not marijuana, and making a false statement to an officer. So if you know where she is, even if she's in Delaware still, please give Crime Solvers a call so we can get her brought in. Try to remember Mark Duran Jones' face. Mark Jones, he's 52 years old. We believe we're going to be right here in Salisbury still. He's wanted by the sheriff's office. We have a district court bench warrant that was issued back in 2020 for violation of probation in a case where you're already convicted of theft charges. And we've been trying to find Mr. Jones for a couple of years and we can't seem to locate him. So we're, we're putting this picture out here. If anybody knows where he is, all you get is pick up the phone and call Crime Solvers. And finally, Jonathan Russell. Jonathan Russell, he's 32 years old. We believe him to be right here in Salisbury. That's where his ad is a record. But we have gotten a tip that he's left the state. He's wanted by the sheriff's office on a district court bench warrant that was issued back in the fall after he failed to make an appearance to answer the charges of assault second degree and disorderly conduct. So if you know where Mr. Russell is, all you have to do is pick up the phone and call crime solvers, just like any of these individuals, any of these six individuals. It's really simple. Right. All you got to do is pick up the phone and call crime solvers. I mean, we'll take the information any way we can get it, but if you want to be considered for the, for the cash reward, you have to call Crime Solvers. And we there, kept that number yeah, up on the screen. The number's on the screen, 410-548-1776. Operators are standing by now. They're standing by all night, all day tomorrow. The rest of this week, they say they want your calls. Could they be want money. your viewers' calls. Captain Tim Robinson, Wicomico County Sheriff's Office, thank you. Be safe. Oh, Appreciate thank you. that.